Okay, so the, the meat's been cooking for one minute. It's almost done. So I'm actually going to get to adding in the seasoning at this point. So as I mentioned, I'm going for my Asian stir-fry seasoning. And we're just going to give a sprinkle of that to the frying pan so that, oh, I don't measure too much when I cook. That's the fun part. Give it as much as you like. With that curry, you only need a little bit. Some people do find if they over-season, it's actually too much. Our, our product is just that pure um, that you really only need a little and it goes a long way. Okay, so that's getting steamy in there. I want to talk about one other package of spice that we could add. It's more than spice. You can see this is intended as a coat and cook, like a shake and bake, if you will, but it's part of our enhanced nutrition line. I don't always use it like a shake and bake. I sprinkle it into my stir fries or into my sauces. It's adding an extra level of flavor and nutrition. So I've got omegas and, and fiber added in to my already healthy food. What a nice dip. Okay, so I'm just going to bring my heat down so you don't overdo it. And to give it a little bit of steam and a little extra uh, saltiness, some soy sauce. But as I mentioned, choose a, choose a soy sauce of your choice. If you need a gluten-free one or if you want a low-sodium one, those are options. Awesome. So in just a total like three minutes, we've got our meat ready. It's time to put it together. So if you were super prepared and organized like we talked about, you've got your wasabi ginger aioli. So the longer it's been sitting, the more flavor it's going to have because those herbs rehydrate and get beautiful. So that's set. And we've got our lovely slaw that we spiralized some veggies into. We're going to take our pre-made salad dressing, our sesame ginger salad dressing, give it a little shake, and give it a little pour. Okay, toss that together. I'm using our lovely grip, grip and grab tongs. Again, these are made of silicone. They're so friendly for kids because they do grab really, really easily. They're also great for seniors anyone with arthritis or wrist issues because, issues because they do give a really good, as they're called, grip and grab, okay? This is how it goes. I've taken some Boston leaf lettuces, um, already washed and dried. You can use romaine hearts as well. We're talking about making like a taco out of, um, out of your, uh, like to use it like a shell. So you can fill that up with a few pieces of meat. You're going to take your slaw and make it beautiful on top for some color and some extra crunch. I like to get some carrots in there, okay? And uh, take your wasabi ginger aioli and give it a dollop on top. And just in a few minutes, you've got Asian lettuce wraps. You can put some rice on the side of that or more slaw or some other steamed veggies. Make it beautiful, garnish the plate as you like. I've got my rice in the back. Um, what I'm going to show you are two options over here for garnishing it even further. We've got um, salt free blends um, in the sand cell section. This one's called Gomasio. So, Gomasio is a blend um, of sesame seeds and ginger and dulse, which is a type of like seaweed to give that umami flavor. Okay? And it's that pretty sprinkles and extra crunch that you might get if you went to the sushi restaurant on top. So that's just a nice, beautiful texture and garnish. If you want to look more at the Enhanced Nutrition line and add some more nutrition into your meal, this actually has nutritional yeast in it. This is the Asian Umami Nutritional Yeast Sprinkle. So that's another option. It looks a little bit different. It does have the sesame seeds and ginger and, and the dulse in there, but it has some extra nutrition ingredients. So you have some topping ideas. These are really fun. Bring an extra element of, uh, of zip and um, inspiration to your cooking. And uh, there you have it. Asian lettuce wraps in just a few minutes. Enjoy. I wish you could taste it. Bon appetit. Oh, and don't forget about the yogurt we made. Remember the red velvet in the refrigerator? It's all marinated, ready to go. Um, you can serve that with fresh berries afterwards if anyone was looking for a treat. It, this will please. Everybody's happy. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.